And if I was to the clothes of the dead Lord. Well, well. Mm -hmm, I am sure he was sure. Now your you mama. know who he your is. Your grandma, your grandmama must have raised you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My mama, you know, they play that. They play, you know, they play a lot of Sam, you know. So okay. I kind of caught. You know, yeah, you kind of caught caught because you know you sound a lot like him, right? Yeah, a lot of people say you sound a lot you know, like. You ever thought about singing gospel? Yeah, you know, I thought about it a lot. You know, and it's, it's, I'm, I want to do at least one song now, but I know I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do a whole album. You gotta album put you, you gotta put your gospel song on that track because it'll give you crossover. That's what I gotta and do. Then we can play one. That's the song I'm gonna do. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're going to have them coming at you from, from all corners. Yeah, that's what so you, so you got to do that. So, where are you from? What's, What's your out? name, first of all? Johnny he just walked King. in the studio and I just grabbed you. you up. I saw him with security, so I figured he was somebody. He said, come get you some love. Okay, come get you some love. My name is Johnny P. Johnny P. Uh, that's right, I got a gun song being currently uh, played right now in uh, Midwest of Chicago by the name of Sing to You. Sing to You. Can yeah. you sing to me? Yes, I can. Give me a little bit of Oh, he's serious, though. Baby, won't you have a seat? She's sitting down already. <laughs> Give me a second while I start this beat. Woo! Now have mercy. Have I have been gone for months doing what I do. And what you do? But now that I'm home, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> See, the bed is my stage, girl. But the spotlight shines on you. We made love a thousand times. We did? But tonight, this is what I'm gonna do. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna make your body sweat. Oh, time to cut. We got to go. We got to go. Ha, ha. <laughs> 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 oh, keep on, you know. Oh, yeah, you don't know what. But you're gonna send me that when you get it, right? I sure will. You're gonna, you're gonna send me that and get the press kit and all that good yes, stuff. Man. All right, well, you tell everybody, when you're not busy making music and making That's love women through music, mm -hmm. what do you do? Well, I'm still singing. <laughs> I, mean, I watch ZTV Channel 19. I watch ZTV Channel 19. You heard? Okay. Y'all got that? Pilsen. <laughs> What'd you say? Pilsen. What does that mean? Johnny P. Pilsen. Oh, okay. See, I have to have my cameraman to keep me up on yeah. the open up. Oh, then what she said, what that yeah. mean? I got to let you go keep on. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you. you sweetie. God bless your ministry. Thank you. I'll be looking for that song now. Thank okay, Sam Cook, you. you gonna rock. I hope so. All right. <laughs>
you know, me over in the second world and in the Christian community, which I'm a part of as well. Um, I'm kind of like a plastic man in a movie, you know, I'm kind of stretched between the two. But I have a deep faith and I feel I have an obligation to get it out there. The key for me is, though, is that at first I was going to do an independent thing. But I don't feel like that's going to be the right amount of distribution. I don't feel like that's going to give the message the best opportunity to win. So it, it's about the business model right now. But I definitely have a strong desire. So if anybody has any ideas, you let me know. Now, are you, 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 are, you are really a family oriented person. That's one of the things that I love about you. Thank you. And I love the fact that you talked about your grandmother. Yeah. yeah. And I, I get a sense that your grandmother is the, is the foundation in which you well, it's true in some sense. I mean, at the end of the day, Jesus is real. My grandmother definitely imparted a lot of wisdom in me. Um, taught me to be humble. Taught me a real, a real work ethic. You know, um, you know, coming from Columbia, South Carolina. You know, my, my family is from Columbia, South Carolina, and um, in Barbados. So, yeah. All right. So you know the, the, the combination, like I, I learned a real strong work ethic, and, and I learned to respect people, respect women. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just the kind of family. So I try to keep them values out there. I mean, I know it's you know may not always be the, the most controversial and reconciling thing to do, but you know I gotta be me. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. What would you say to someone who's watching this show on a closing note? What would you tell them who want to do what LL Cool J does? I would tell you to, it's okay, it's wise to emulate another man's virtue, virtues and to try to walk in his shoes as folly. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can look at the virtues, you can look at working hard, you can look at 110% in everything you do, you can look at trying to have working business models, you can look at diversifying your life and your businesses, but that's where it should end. Then you have to be you. How many businesses do you have? I have quite a few. I have quite a few different businesses, um, things that have been a lot of fun building, and some things that are still I'm still in the process of building. And over the years, uh, God has been good to me. Very